Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the richest magic player ever, and he is a Redditor. And I'm going to make some assumptions, but I think these assumptions are okay. So, he was offering $1,200 in Bitcoins two years ago when Bitcoin was around $200. That's about six Bitcoins. Six Bitcoins today, as of this recording of the video, is $96,000. What was he offering? What does he what did he want people to do for these valuable bitcoins? Well, he wanted them to burn seance, a Magic the Gathering card, possibly the worst Magic the Gathering speculation a card that I know you guys love talking about so much that I've decided to make this video because I wanted to highlight the dangers of buying seance. So this guy or I guess buying seance to burn seance. Okay, well, karma really is kind of mean. So you might be like, oh, okay, what's $96,000? I mean, whatever, right? Well, he also offered, and I hope he did not deliver, $38,000 in Bitcoins for a pro Magic player to play Seance. That is equivalent to today. $38,000 is a lot of Bitcoins, guys. That is a lot of Bitcoins. That is equivalent to today, three point. 04 million or three million and forty thousand dollars. So in total, he was willing to spend three million one hundred and thirty six thousand dollars on promoting seance. Now you might say, "Oh, well, MTG Nine, that's unfair. Say, uh, Bitcoins were only two hundred dollars at the time." Well, turns out Bitcoins was a much better investment than Magic Gathering cards, and in particular, seances are burning them. But this guy, if he has done it correctly, so he so lackadaisically was going to give Bitcoins, and we assume this is 10% of his Bitcoins, right? If he's just going to burn seances for fun, we can assume that he still retains most of his Bitcoins and he's not going to spend more than 10%. Well, he would have $30 million, $31 million. He could buy every Black Lotus on the planet. And then really spike the price. But what if he bought every seance on the planet? $31 million, right? He could do it. Now, let's assume he was a very savvy person and somehow he accumulated more Bitcoins and this was only 1% of his Bitcoins. Well, he would have $313 million, 0. 0.6. And 600, oh, what's 600,000? He doesn't need a 600,000. He can donate that. This guy is loaded. I mean, the fact that he would give so much money in Bitcoins, like as long as he kept any of these Bitcoins that he was so randomly going to give people away, he is the richest Magic player in existence with $313 million. Now you might be like, oh, that's a pipe dream, MT Giant. You're just doing random math. Yes, it is random math, but it's nonetheless interesting to think about, right? This is a guy with so many Bitcoins, he was going to throw $3.1 million at the Bitcoin to spike him. Whether or not he gave the Bitcoins out, I mean, that's another question. There's not like a document that he gave them out or who he gave them out to, right? And I believe the Pro Tour wasn't too happy. Although, you know, they should have hired the dude to sponsor the... Pro I don't get why Wizard of the Coast does this. Here was an opportunity for a Pro Magic player to retire... We're talking about $3 million was offered to a pro Magic player and all they had to do was play Seance. That's like winning, what? How many tournaments is that winning in a row? So what's the pro tour? $50,000 now? Is it $50,000? So $3 million divided by $50,000. That's winning 60 pro tours. We have four pro tours a year, I think. That's winning 15 years, every single pro tour for 15 years. And even with counting interest and Bitcoins, the you know, randomness of Bitcoins, it's probably more like 20 years. My gosh, we should be sponsored by this Bitcoin guy. Uh, he's, I mean, his net worth has to be immense if he's just going to throw out, if he's just going to be like, all right, Bitcoins for everybody who plays Seance. Everyone burns, who burns Seance, here's some Bitcoins. Now, you know what would be interested Interesting if he actually didn't have bitcoins and this was all a elaborate hoax to raise the price of seances. 
I mean, it's quite interesting, right? Nonetheless, he's probably, if everything he said was true and we can correlate his behavior to not irrational levels where he's giving all his Bitcoins away, this is by far the richest Magic the Gathering player in the history of our game. And luckily, he invested in Bitcoins and not Magic cards because if he invested in Magic cards at the same time in Seance, for instance, it got reprinted, I'm sure that he would not be a happy camper. Can you believe this guy? His <laughs> just insane amounts of money. Anyway, Bitcoins are interesting. I like them. I don't own any of them, but I do like the concept of it. I'm not a buyer yet. Uh, I'm not a buyer because of, I'm not going to go into it, but there's other factors I have to worry about. 313 million, well, 313.6 million dollars in Bitcoins. If we assume that his offering of 3.136 million dollars for seances or promoting seances was 1% of his total I think that's reasonable, 1%, right? He wouldn't just give away 100% of his Bitcoins, right? That would be the worst MTG finance. He's either the smartest person or the dumbest person. And it depends on what percentage of Bitcoins he gave away. So if he gave away 1% of his Bitcoins, he is just... What's 1% to this guy? But if he gave away 100% of his Bitcoins to promote Seance, ooh, it would be very bad. That would be very, very bad. Anyway, bye guys.